Nicole, the math lady. Today we're talking about proportion. And right off the bat, a proportion is a set of equal ratios. Take a look. So here I have a fraction, or you could say a ratio of four to three. And if I wanted to find an equivalent, you know we multiply by a number that's the same on the top and the bottom. So let's say I wanted to multiply this by two over two. It would give me four times two is eight, three times two is six. So proportion, four and three, four thirds, and eight six are equal proportions. Let's try it again. What if I wanted to multiply everything by threes? So let's do four over three times three over three. Four times three is 12. Three times three is nine. So guess what? Four thirds, eight six, and 12 ninths are all equal proportions. So why are proportions useful? Well, proportions can help you find missing numbers. Take a look. I have five over two is equal to what over 12? Well, we know we're looking for that missing equivalent. So let me get rid of this little equal sign and said two times what is 12? Well, we know two times six is 12. And what you do to the bottom, you gotta do to the top. So five times six is gonna give me 30. And that would be my answer for the missing proportion. Well, what if the number that's missing is the denominator? Does it still work? Of course it does. So look, I'm gonna take rid of my little equal there. And I'm gonna say three times what is nine? Three times three is nine. What you do to the top, you gotta do to the bottom. So seven times three is gonna give me 21. So my missing number is 21. It's that simple. Equal ratios are proportions and they're great for finding missing numbers in our proportions. Okay, that's it. Take a look at the practice set. Make sure you can get it done on NicoleTheMathLady.com. I'll see you next time. Bye.